Welcome back. This is where we finished after our first video. So now it's our second video and I want to explain a little bit more about uh, what I actually did to create this little box, um, which is here. So I'm just going to delete that and start over again. Uh, you'll notice that many of the buttons that you normally would expect to use are kind of here on the side. And so what I did last time was I chose a box, which is just this box right here, a rectangle. I drew the rectangle first. It'll draw with whatever the last color was that you used. And then you can choose a different color down here just by clicking on it. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, just so you know, there are many, many more colors you can choose from. There's two sliders down at the bottom. So there's hundreds of colors to choose from. And if you want to choose a color, just click on that color. Um, there's also different choices you can choose. Um, I'll just give you an example here is that if you want the line around the box, that's called a stroke. And so I'm going to right click on one of these colors and you can see set fill obviously is the fill color, which is currently purple. And if I choose set 0.5 millimeters, I don't like 0.5 millimeters. It's a little too thin for me. So I'm going to right click on that and I can choose a bigger number like six and all of a sudden the green just pops. Okay. Now I'm still in edit mode, uh, just in case you were curious. So what that means is that if I grab one of these corners, I can edit my shape however I want. But notice that some of these corners are squares, but this corner up here is round. It's a circle. And so watch as I drag it, all of a sudden I can get a more oval shape or even a circle shape, and I can make that adjustment. So that's so those come to the settings that come with the rectangle. You'll notice that other choices up here have different settings that come with it. But what I really want you to focus on is these two black arrows. So let's click the top black arrow. The top black arrow um, is the the general select one. And as you can see, this kind of does the things that you normally expect it to do, except it has an added feature where if you click one time on the object, then all the arrows change. And now I can rotate it. Or if I undo that, where's my undo button? Um, oh goodness, I'm backing way back up now. All right, that, that, that's not undo apparently. Uh, that was rotate. <laughs> that's funny, here's undo. There we go, let's undo that back. Keep going, Keep, there we go. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, these ones in the middle, they skew. Um, so if you like to use those choices and then um, you can undo that again, and then you can go back to the original one and just do regular. So that's the top black arrow mode. There's a second black arrow, which is called edit paths by nodes. And this is the one where you get back your choices. So if you didn't like the rounded edges and you want to go back to square edges, or if you wanted to make it a little bit smaller like this, you certainly can. So those are the two black arrows. I just call them the top black arrow tool and the bottom black arrow tool. But the one of them is kind of your regular, you know, grow, stretch, move things around. And then the second one is if you want to actually edit points or edit the different settings. Okay. Um, one last thing is when, when you click on those buttons, these options here change. So for instance, if I was to drag a circle out and make a circle, and let's give that circle some orange fill just to make it really obvious. So I'll set the fill. Um, when I pull it over, you'll see that it is on top. And as long as I'm in the top black arrow tool, there's these choices right here where I can move them up or down. And so for instance, there you can see, I'm just clicking the up and down, move it down, move it up, or move it to the bottom, move it to the top. Um, and you can easily move these around in order to do that. Uh, and then one final thing is you can also duplicate, which is super handy. So I can duplicate and then it puts it right on top. So now I can duplicate it and then I can put one of them behind and one of them in front. And now it kind of has that kind of tiered effect where it's almost like steps. Okay, now again, the star is up here. Please remember to save your work. So I'm gonna click save. My save work is there. My poster is now growing and we're off to the races and you can see each individual piece. Okay, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.